if someone who loves you, they want you to be their full 100%, mm -hmm. you know? How could you, like, be in a relationship where you can't be your full self? Right. You know? Right. And, so I, and sometimes it's hard. Trust mm -hmm. me, I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say this, okay? Yeah. She started farting around me <laughs> way earlier than I did. You so want to she, tell, tell them the story? So she, no, no, no. So she got comfortable around me way earlier than I did. And I'm not going to lie, like, within the past couple months almost, we've been together for almost two years, and within the past couple months, that's when I just started letting loose. I, and, instead, of, instead of getting up and going to, you know, when you first start off in a relationship, you're just like, oh, okay. got, you, you know, you step into the corner of the room or you go into the bathroom and you close the door. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, well, I guess to start off, Levon and I, we always talk, you know, especially like when we're just chilling, sitting down, watching a movie. Sometimes we'll pause a movie, we, we see something, and we'll just sit there and talk about life. Mm -hmm. And we were just like, well, you brought up the idea to like share this stuff on camera. Like, why don't we talk about this stuff on camera? Like, um, so we're bringing our talks to the camera. <laughs> um, and I guess we wanted to talk about relationships and single life, single life and relationship life. What was our single life like and what is our relationship life like now? Mm -hmm. And what, I guess, are the major differences that we experienced between the two? Some things that we enjoyed, some things that we didn't enjoy, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. <laughs> You know, I, yeah. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, ladies first, I'm gonna let you start it off. Yeah, well, being in a relationship definitely helps me become a better person. Like, for example, when I was in a single life, I always thought about like myself. So I was like, kind of selfish, kind of waking up, not like in that like way, there's a lot of selfish where it's like bad, which is bad or which is good, but mm -hmm. mine was like a good selfish where I, I would get up, I won't have to worry about anyone, I would do my own thing, buy my own things, and just, just go out, have fun, but this time not being in a relationship, I am more like not selfish. I'm thinking about him. I'm thinking about, you know, if he's... Do you ever feel held back by anything? Not at that, all. That, you know, well, do you ever feel like, okay. Yeah, there's some. For example, I always had my nails done. I always had my eyelashes done. My hair done all, like, every... Before two, me. Yeah, before him. Okay. So, like, I always had, like, every two weeks or every, um, a month to get them done. But now I was like, I see him. And then like my appearance is just like, go it's away, I don't really. <laughs> like, not go my appearance goes away. I mean like getting the so, are, so, are, so are, you are you saying you take l less care of yourself because? No, not, not, not less care. Like I'd rather spend my money elsewhere for us. Okay, so more. so you're, you're, you started thinking less about yourself and more about us as a unit. Yes. What? Like for example, like for me, like instead of like getting my nails done, spending like almost a hundred dollars, I'd rather do that with groceries with both of us. Okay. You know, or getting my hair done, like spending three hundred dollars. Like I'd rather use that for like stuff for us around the house. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. So kind of being that, you know, not selfish. Okay. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? <laughs> but do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I, okay. I get what you're saying. At first it sounded like you were saying, because of me, you started caring less for yourself. No, not like that, but yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Um, but, but I prioritize things. But your priority before me was your looks. Mm -hmm. Now your priority is making sure that we have the necessary things that we need. Yes. For the household mm -hmm. and for I gotcha like mm -hmm. like food and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I got it, I got it, I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I guess with that, from your perspective, 
what uh, I guess is that the major difference for you between a relationship and, and the single life where in, in a single life of course you're single you don't have anybody else so you prioritize yourself mm -hmm. and in a relationship you are doing things for each other mm -hmm. so does yeah. is is that are you happier doing things for other people for me i'm just use me because we're in a relationship mm -hmm. are you happier doing things together mm -hmm. and for me versus back then when you weren't yes definitely because it's also it's bringing us up like with i don't like yeah mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> it's kind of like like you don't have to worry about it. like i already got it Mm -hmm. kind of thing like you can worry about something else mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i don't know okay yeah <laughs> yeah i mean yeah so i mean back in your single life obviously you know you were single you were exploring mm -hmm. you were um getting to you know exactly you, you were getting to find yourself mm -hmm. we both were mm -hmm. we were we were just exploring we were in relationships that weren't really working out mm -hmm. some relationships that were just questionable um and i think me personally when i was single it wasn't necessarily fun for me being single wasn't fun at well, being single was fun i'm okay how about this being single was fun it was the process of dating that wasn't because what I learned about myself was that I was very busy going on dates and, and, and meeting a lot of women. Um, it was depressing for me. And what I noticed about myself was that I was trying so hard to find the perfect person and not the, and not the right person. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I found you where I realized, like, you know, I have to, I, you know, I've been looking for someone who's perfect instead of someone who's right for me mm -hmm. because no one is perfect. Mm -hmm. No one is perfect. No one's going to come to you. Perfect. 100%. And I guess that's why I was, it was very, very depressing for me going through um, my single life because I always knew that I wanted to be in a relationship. I never, I didn't want to remain single for too long. I mean, I'm in my late twenties, you know, I'm a millennial. You know, so I, I grew up off the um, old Disney movies and Disney cartoons where, you know, the princes and the princesses. But, you know, but that, you know, seeing love as a kid and growing up with like seeing love in movies and seeing love in cartoons. Um, I don't know. I just always wanted to find somebody who was during that time perfect. Mm -hmm. But I completely misunderstood the assignment and you know gladly luckily i didn't skip over the person who was right for me so i think um god definitely put me in the position to be able to find you um because i wasn't going to give up yeah. and because i didn't give up here i am now okay. <laughs> so yeah um now that i'm in a relationship um i find that my life has more meaning if, if if you will like being single isn't bad like it wasn't bad for me like i know that i would have had i, I would have had meaning as a single person but um I, I guess i'm just seeing more now that being in a relationship like you said has helped me to be a better person mm -hmm. because as a single person i was also very selfish even with my family um, the friends that I had at the time, I was a very selfish person and being in a relationship has taught me that, um, you know, you know, being selfless can go a long way. Yeah. And, and this is really, this is really teaching me and, and it's a, it's been humbling, um, having someone else by my side that I can learn and grow from. And instead of just being on my own and learning from outside people, you know, in fun spaces and things like that. Um, it's just better here than where I was mm -hmm. as a single person, personally. So. Yeah, what I also learned with, with me being single um, back then, what I also learned is time, like spending quality time with 
someone you love. Um, when I was single, I always, I always worked a lot. I always had like side little things going on, and uh, I realized I was so selfish. I, money, like money, and like building my money up was all that I thought about, and then um, it definitely kind of I can tell like with me being single and doing all that stuff and not letting anyone into my life was really until I met Avery and I was like wow I actually need to put these things aside and make time for us mm -hmm. you know um and not just with him it's also with like friends too making time um not being in a relationship like oh now now that I see more of spending time spending because time is all you know life is so short life is short yeah mm -hmm. and then like spending time with him is all like i want to do and also spending time with with him like with my friends and all that it's just and what really scared me about being single is that i felt like i was going to be single for a very long time same at same. least until i was like 50 yeah or, or 60 40. or 40 you know mm -hmm. i thought i was gonna be single for a very long time because i you you see on social media you see on the internet obviously social media is, has such a huge influence on mm -hmm. people um and i would see on social media all these men and women um i'm gonna just say I'm, i'll see on social media all these people you know Commitment is an issue in today society. Yeah. Commitment is a huge issue. No one wants to commit. No one wants to go through the the if it is the hard the hardships in the relationship. Um, no one no one has patience. Yeah. Every every like social media because everything on social media is so fast paced, and you know even if when you when you when you even when you scroll through TikTok. You know, you, you watch a 15 second video and like that's that's what you get. That's that's your dopamine. You know, it's it's like you can rewatch that over and over again. It's kind of difficult for people to actually sit down and absorb something in today's society. Mm -hmm. Everything is happening. Everything. They want it now. Everything has to be quick. Everything has to be this. Everything has to be that. And that that's exactly how relationships are today, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of people that are single in today. Um, in today's world than they are in a relationship mm -hmm. um i think a lot of that has to do with like being patient and not being patient um and also i also want to talk about sorry to get off topic but like oh. um i just had it shoot I was just talking. I, I had it. It's okay. But all in all, do you, I, I hope you guys know what I'm what I'm what I mean by like when I say the whole TikTok, TikTok analogy thing, mm -hmm. um, and everybody wants a relationship, something about a relationship very quickly, and that's why a lot of relationships fail because people don't take the time to actually build a relationship, which you know after that comes commitment issues, and people can't just stay with one person. You got to have you know social. I mean. It's, it's hard to say the exact reason, but social media is behind a lot of the reason as to why people can't stay committed to one another. Yeah, and not also social media. I think it's also... But, it, but it's a big part of the reason, though. Yeah, but there's all the factors, like, for example, um, learning to love yourself, too. Loving yourself? Yeah. Because the, the state of the world today, mental health mm -hmm. is at an all-time high. You gotta high. put yourself first. Yeah in order to love someone else as well. Mm -hmm. um, I I would be, now that being in a relationship, I learned, I, throughout my suit, I, when I, I don't know, <laughs> my mind just like, I have so much thoughts in my head, yeah. and I just want to tell you guys, but it's just coming all at once. In my single days, I dated when I was very late. Um, very late, so I never really. So what? I, what? So what do you mean by you dated when you were very late? Like for example, like I dated in my mid twenties. Okay. And, and you didn't date anybody before your mid twenties. No, like they, like for example, it would be like you know, like elementary, middle school, like oh, you know, oh, my boyfriend, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like you, you don't really count that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like oh, we dated a week. It's like 
Yeah. I don't really yeah. <laughs> count that. But now that being like as an adult and be like, because I've always, for me, I always worked. Always work, work, work. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> but now just like, to, I understand where people who are single are looking for a relationship <clears throat> is they are trying to find the one. So that's where to get picky, you know. Um, yeah, going back to what I was saying earlier, I was trying to find perfect mm -hmm. instead of finding the right one. Mm -hmm. Someone who's right for you, someone who can, I guess, match your energy. Yeah. Find someone who matches your energy. Mm -hmm. Find someone who has the same, not the, not even the same, but find someone who has goals and aspirations. Find yes. someone who's who's working toward those things. Yes. You know, you don't, a lot of, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I just, I, from what I see today, a lot of people, a lot of people trauma bond. Mm -hmm. They they build their relationship around their trauma and there is no substance to what they can do for each other rather than dwelling in that trauma mm -hmm. together. And you want to find someone who can lift you out of that. Yeah. Lift, lift you know, or even like lift each other up out of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah, because also when I was also single too, I was kind of kind of feeling low a lot feeling low um but meeting Avery just really got me into I've always loved like I always throughout my life with just preaching you know the word of God and everything but just with Avery it just brought a light to me that you have to find those little key things where it's like for me it was like God yeah and then uh, yes. yeah yeah God, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we didn't, you know, I know that, you know, we're, we're doing our very best and trying to put God as the foundation of our relationship. We didn't always have God at the foundation of our relationship. We didn't share our experiences or find, um, you know, or we didn't share our experiences with God in the beginning. Cause I'm mm -hmm. not, cause I was not, I didn't have God in my life before you. Um, it, you know, after some time I ended up finding God while I was with you. And then little did I know you've, you've had, you've once been, um, you've once sought out God, but then you stopped for a while. Yeah. And then so, I found God a little after I was with you. You were, you found God before, but then you stopped. Mm -hmm. And then together we started seeking God again. Yes. Um, and it's made a difference in... The way that we think. The way that we think. think the, our actions. Our actions, mm -hmm. the way that we interact with mm -hmm. each other even. And our, I guess, forgiveness with each other. Mm -hmm. And even... And, even in our patience with each other. Um, and I know because I wasn't always as patient <laughs> as, as I am now. Um, I don't know how you were, yeah, but I know that I was. you were. Mm -hmm. We don't get in a lot of fights. We don't get in a lot of arguments. Mm -hmm. And if we do, it may last for a little bit, but then it clears up. Mm -hmm. But I can count on like one hand how many times we've probably argued. Maybe two hands, but one hand mostly how many times we've argued in the almost two years we've been together. Yeah. We've argued less than at most five times. Yeah. Literally. I mean, of course you have your little bickering like, oh, why you leave your, you know, napkins no, on that, the couch? Okay, so or, that's... or why you leave some crumbs <laughs> in between like on the couch? You There's know? a difference between being in a relationship um, argument versus like being, let's just say like a roomy relationship. That Those things are roomy stuff. Roomy stuff? Okay. Yeah, like, do you, you know, like pick up after yourself. Yeah, or pick like, up yourself. Or... <laughs> Wash the dishes. Or why you leave your, why you leave your bowl on the table? Or why you thing, leave you know? your bowl on the table? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, more like... There's a difference, yeah, yeah. you know, of those things. Um, but... Where are we at? But it, on the arguments, mm -hmm. yeah. And just finding God is... 
really like it's all about when it comes to conflicts and all that it's all about listening to each other's feelings yeah instead of being like very defensive what well, i didn't want da, da, da. it's like no like you have to um, you have everyone has their own feelings yeah that's and good you listening. gotta express it you listening. gotta express it and listen mm -hmm. that, okay I, i'm hearing what you're saying now it's my turn this is where i'm coming from mm -hmm. and i think just to listen to each other is definitely the key thing when it comes to different conflicts yeah um yeah listening is is, is a big one you you get a lot of people that they 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 don't they'll listen but they they're actively listening to respond mm -hmm. but then you then you have people who are actively listening to understand yeah they're two those are the two different types of listening you'll listen to respond and then you'll listen to understand mm -hmm. and i think that you and i we have found that we listen to understand yeah um you know my guilty face <laughs> but even when we're nagging you know and my guilty face like oh why, why didn't you why didn't you do this if you don't do this then so and so and i'm like this you know this one <laughs> and it like when he does that i'm like, like like oops like you know what i mean i'm so boiled up but when he does that <laughs> it just shuts everything down because i'm like it's a playful little yeah. thing i was like okay now i can't really <laughs> get really so like that's it with him. Yeah, because I understand exactly what, you know, I may have done wrong. I may not, I may have left the bowl on the table or th this is a big one. This is the, this is probably the only reason as to why we get, you know, why she gets boiled up with me. I'll start the laundry. <laughs> it's mostly a laundry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll start the laundry and then I'll wash some clothes, leave it in there for like two days and go oh, back downstairs. Or, no. Yes, you know. The, There's really? times where you because sometimes a week. We do, sometimes we do it on a Sunday, and then <laughs> a week. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> Maybe this is over exaggerating right now. Because <laughs> when it comes to laundry, when yes. he's doing it, it's so the clothes will be in there for about a day or two um, after it's washed, and then she'll go downstairs, and then she'll open up the washer and see that there have been there are clothes that have been left in there for two days. She'll grab them, smell them, and they'll smell like mildew. Must. Obviously, <laughs> if you leave your clothes in the washer, they smell like mildew. I know this, okay? I know this. It's just that it slips my mind when I start a load. It'll slip my mind for like two days, and then she'll just come upstairs like one day she ended up coming upstairs i actually got scared because when i when she went down there i was like <laughs> did i did i oh crap did i leave some clothes in the washer <laughs> and so when she came up she started snapping on me i was just and then immediately guilty face <laughs> i just took my finger put it to my chin like this and i was like the thing is like i don't not a lot of people see me mad they see me like frustrated so i don't ever get like mad so i come up and be like i'm a little disappointed at you because of xyz yeah <laughs> and i listen and i'm like i know i know what i did wrong yeah i know and i can't even look at him so i just go straight into the room yeah she, she, just, <laughs> she just walks straight into the room I mean, I, 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 and then she's like doing something to keep her mind occupied yeah, yeah. and i'm just sitting there like <laughs> Dang, <laughs> you know, but I, I, but I know what I did wrong and I, and I understand exactly what I did wrong. In a lot of cases, people don't, people, people refuse to take accountability for and what then, they do. Yes, but then. And that, and that can be a very huge downfall to a relationship as well. Yes. Not taking accountability. Accountability yes. is huge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always take accountability for your wrongdoings. As long as you're truthful, you take accountability, mm -hmm. the accountability. You know, you can always work things out. Yeah, exactly. And just be, just having that accountability is like everyone makes a mistake. It's okay. It's okay to make mistakes mm -hmm. with when it comes to those stuff. We're not perfect, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but it's about correcting those mistakes and mm -hmm. making sure that you know they don't happen over. And, yeah, they don't happen again mm -hmm. over and over and over and over again. And that's the type of relationship that you should try to have with God as well. When you have a relationship with God or you're building a relationship with God, making time, you, you know, making time and sending, why you keep unbuttoning my, like, <laughs> she's, she's unbuttoning my like lower like, pants <laughs> button. Excuse me. It's like okay? a fidget, like yeah. little thing. It's like squeeze or. Um, making time 
um, with, you God. Know, with God or, or even making the same mistakes over and over again and then asking God for forgiveness, it gets to be like, okay, what's going on here? Why do you keep making the same mistake? It, it, it gets to the point where I, it's like, what can you do after you make the same mistake over and over again? Of course, the relationship or your relationship with God or any sort of relationship cannot continue to work out because when you learn, because if you don't learn from your mistakes, you can't have a solid foundation yeah. in your relationship. Yeah. You have to be able to forgive yourself, allow the other person to be for, for, forgiven, and then you have to learn from your mistakes and then move forward. Yes. You cannot keep yes. repeating your same mistakes over and over again. And that is exactly what a lot of people do. A lot of people repeat their mistakes mm -hmm. with their relationships, mm -hmm. whether it be with God and their and, and their relationships with their partner, um, their family relationships. They repeat those same mistakes over and over again. And then eventually they just get disowned. They just get pushed out. And it's like, I can't deal with this person anymore. Mm -hmm. I have to remove myself from this situation and you never want to be in that position to where you had multiple opportunities mm -hmm. to change your mistake. You never want to be in a position to where you keep continue that mistake, but then you just get pushed out by those who you love because you decided to keep repeating that mistake. Always, always learn from your mistakes. Yeah. And also being like, <laughs> and also being really in that relationship, you got to learn to not hold on to the past. You know, holding on to yeah, the past and then yes. starting a relationship yes. you gotta move on you are starting a new relationship with another person mm -hmm. so you gotta learn to even though you may adjust these things to them about oh this is what happened you have to learn from that and this this is a new relationship mm -hmm. if you are if you want to be building mm -hmm. with another person this is a new relationship that you want to move forward and just literally all you're doing is starting off fresh and someone who loves, I mean, someone who accepts you for who you are. And that's the one thing. The one thing about dating, being in a relationship and dating Avery is the one thing he always told me was just to be myself. And that was like, I'm like, wow. Cause he, everyone is so like perfectionist, like trying to be whatever they want to satisfy the other partner mm -hmm. or, or someone um and the thing is if someone who loves you they want you to be their full 100 percent mm -hmm. you know how could you like be in a relationship where you can't be your full self right you know right and so I, and sometimes it's hard trust mm -hmm. me i know i'm just gonna say this okay yeah she started farting around me <laughs> way earlier than I did. You so want to tell the story? So she, no, no, no. So she got comfortable around me way earlier than I did. And I'm not gonna lie, like, within the past couple months almost, we've been together for almost two years, and within the past couple months, that's when I just started letting loose. And, <laughs> instead of instead of getting up and going to, you know, when you first start off in a relationship, you're just like, oh, okay, got, you, you know, you step into the corner of the room or you go into the bathroom and you close the door and then you try to like let that little fart that wants to come out and then it comes out like it's it's freaking thunder. Oh my God. And then you like try to stop it. Then you try to let it out right No, no, no. <laughs> but it's facts because everybody goes through it. Everyone has that, <laughs> has this exact moment to where they're, they're trying not to, embarrass themselves what it's called embarrassing but it's such a normal bodily function and if you are with someone you shouldn't have to hide it you know i, sh I shouldn't and i realized like even at night like i would wake up at one o'clock in the morning but <laughs> even at one o'clock in the morning i find myself like having to sneak into the bathroom and like let out a fart i'm like this is ridiculous I shouldn't have to continue to do this. Like I should be able to just like let it out right here and go back to sleep instead of waking myself up by getting up out of the bed. So eventually, but you were already doing, she was already doing that. She like one, <laughs> Okay, so I, <laughs> we're going to save that for another video. We're going to save that for another video. <laughs> can't tell the story. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. It was like what, maybe our second date? <laughs> So hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me just explain it real quick because you know, in the interest of time. So she she was she's famous for cracking back, okay. And I didn't know I needed my back cracked until she was just she offered to crack my back, and I was like, okay, maybe I do need my back cracked. And so I laid on the floor, 
and she like she you know she patted my back down just to get my back used to the sensation and then she goes breathe in i go i'm on the floor flat on my stomach my head turned she goes breathe in breathe out boom came out right there in her face i farted in her face farted in her face the second time was it the second time we seen yeah, each other yeah the second time we seen seen each other in person after our first date then our second date i farted right in her face and so in his mind he was like oh so yeah i'm so i'm surprised we're the here first, the first thing that i said it's okay everyone farts yeah, yeah, yeah. i was <laughs> to like, make it feel better to, to be honest i'm surprised we're here because normally on a second date you don't just fart in somebody's face let's be real and i know i know you smelled it you no smelled you it? it actually didn't have a smell okay then she pushed out some air then and then it was just air you know which in, the, in that case it's fine but the fact that i farted in her face on the second day but it was in her face because she was behind me <laughs> the level of embarrassment was astronomical beyond anything that can be described but we're here now we're farting in front of each other every two seconds especially that taco dip that she made yesterday <laughs> yo we got way off track <laughs> yo we got way off track with this video but yeah just being your false self <laughs> that's what yeah, just yeah. Being, yeah honestly and um i think that's that yeah that's the key authenticity is mm -hmm. is absolutely the key um being yourself and not allowing anybody to change you to fit who they want what they want um out of a relationship mm -hmm. again it's all about finding the right person not about finding the perfect person mm -hmm. and if you find the right person you you guys can build together obviously there are going to be some adjustments and changes that you're going to have to make um into your lifestyle you know in your, in your lifestyles and things like that because you want to make it about the both of you mm -hmm. and not just you mm -hmm. of course of course she is she's her own person i am my own person we are two individual people, people. you know she will go out and do um things that she enjoys you know she goes shopping, shopping or whatever um you you recently well you got your hair done um like two months ago she, she you know she'll do her nails she'll do what she wants to do mm -hmm. within reason obviously because she's in a rela relationship and it's about that brings us to the next topic respect mm -hmm. i'm my own person i you know i have work um what do you what do you call that uh work gatherings yeah so i'll go out and i'll i'll meet up with my co-workers for work or just uh on friday um a friend of mine he plays music so what did i do i went to go support him at playing music at a uh, bar at a, at a pool bar mm -hmm. so i was there by myself just chilling with my friend playing you know watching them play music and supporting them mm -hmm. she wasn't there she was at home and she was sleeping when i got back so little things like that it's normal it's perfectly fine but respect mm -hmm. is what it's all about you yes. if you don't respect your partner if you don't even respect yourself <clears throat> don't get in a relationship yeah if you do not respect yourself do not get in a relationship don't even waste your waste another person's time exactly getting in a relationship if you don't respect yourself you all you always have to number one have respect for yourself and have respect for others mm -hmm. because if you respect yourself you can respect yeah. others yeah so and I, and I think that's that's really important um mm -hmm. is, is yeah is allowing the other person to be themselves authenticity and having respect for yourself and for the relationship and for the other person mm -hmm. so you have anything to add yeah and also i mean if you are doing those things where you're talking to other people not having that respect i think again like you said it's just don't waste the other person's time i know things are hard maybe you might be in a relationship for a very long time and all that you got to do what's best for you at the end of the day yeah whether it's being in a relationship or being not just being single maybe being happy yeah. and sometimes i met i mean not sometimes i met a lot of people who are happy being single and they're living their best life mm -hmm. you know and sometimes relationship is not not a, th a thing for them and that's okay 
Yeah. It's doing what makes you happy, but also having the respect for yourself and loving yourself. Yeah. I always encourage people, if you're in a relationship, or if you're not in a relationship and you're single, definitely do what makes you happy. If being single makes you happy, do what makes you happy. Not mm -hmm. everybody is meant to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And not everybody um, can cope or tolerate with being single. Mm -hmm. Those who aren't in a relationship um, and enjoy being single, I encourage I encourage you to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I encourage you to have fun, live your life. Um, but I also encourage you to don't shun away something that could potentially be beneficial for you, mm -hmm. ultimately, in a very positive way. Um, because we could have, meeting on a dating website, Tinder, her and I, we could have easily just skipped over each other. Yeah. We, yeah. You know, from, you know, doing that swiping and, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. we could have easily just skipped over each other, but we allowed for one another to, um, to, to just, I guess, come together. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, when we first, our first date, she told me she's not looking for anything serious. Mm -hmm. She was just like, um, I'm just looking for, you know, friendship. But if it turns out to be something, I won't be opposed. I won't to be it. opposed to it. That's mm -hmm. exactly what she told me. And then, um, just having that again, I'm sure you guys already know, just having that conversation with him is just we just bounce back and forth. And I have never felt anything like that. As someone who actually listened, yep. listen <laughs> and no, literally, yep. baby, you like listen and you like the caring. You've everything that I told you and you carry that on to our next conversation, like the next day mm -hmm. or so, like, oh, how was this? Yep. Oh, I know you mentioned about this, but how's that going? You know, like, I was like, wow, someone yeah. who values you. Yeah. Um, and I want to say to those who, um, as, well, as well, you aren't in a relationship, but you don't know how to cope with it, and you actually want someone to build, you want to build something with someone, my only advice to you is to not look for perfection but to look for something that is right for you mm -hmm. go out on dates date around mm -hmm. definitely date around um and if if there's one thing that's off if for example if she chews with her or if he or she chews choose with their mouths open don't write that off because they chew with their mouth open. If mm -hmm. they dress mm -hmm. um, a certain way, if you're, if, you're not a, if you're not a person who likes ripped jeans, but he or she wears rip, ripped jeans, don't write that off Yeah. just yet. Allow yourself to, full, not even fully, but allow yourself to get to know the person well enough to see where the vibe is. Yes. Because if the vibe is good, chances are that it could potentially be something good between you two mm -hmm. and this is for people who are specifically you know who, who who want a relationship but may not know how to go about finding it mm -hmm. who may be struggling trying to actually find someone that they like um and if looks is a factor for you Look, I mean, at the end of the day, let's be real. Looks will always be a factor. You cannot overlook the looks. If you find someone physically attractive, that's great. But please don't base your 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 purpose of going for that person based on their looks. Mm -hmm. Because looks aren't everything. <laughs> it's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. So. Yeah. Yeah. You got me. Yeah. I'm sure. Like, and if you are in a relationship and that you're, I mean, we already talked about this. Hmm. You're not happy, and but you're, you know, there's there's people. If you're in a relationship and you're not, not happy. happy, there's yeah, yeah. people who are stay still staying in that relationship. It's because mm -hmm. they're afraid to be 
to start over again. Mm, that is so true. Mm -hmm. Being afraid to start over again and to get out of a relationship, that is, that is, that is so true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we should like discuss about that too. Where yeah. if you are, I don't, I, th I don't know, that's so hard. Being in a relationship, but not wanting to stay in it, um, but but just but just you know being content with it because you you're, you're afraid to be single, being yeah. comfortable with it because you're you're you know you're afraid of being alone or or it's something that you're used to. Um, the only way that I know of. The only way that I, I say that you can combat that is to start doing things that you love to do. Mm -hmm. Finding yourself mm -hmm. is important mm -hmm. because if you are in a relationship and you are just content with it because it's, it feels comfortable for you or you're afraid of, not, of, of, of being by yourself and starting over, that means you lack something within yourself that yeah. you're... That you're that that you're finding in that other person yeah and that means that you need to do some self-exploring mm -hmm. um within yourself figure out there figure out some things that you like to do for yourself um you know pick up a hobby pick up you know do something that helps you get away from that relationship because i myself i don't know about you but i myself have been in relationships that i did not want to be in mm -hmm but i was like i just i can't start over so i'm just gonna like stick this out and see what happens but that was because i wasn't i guess number one i wasn't happy with myself and i was lacking something within myself that i was looking for in the other person and i didn't know what i liked to do mm -hmm. because i didn't allow myself to explore that while i was with these people mm -hmm. i've only done things that I like, that they like to do. Oh, wow. Yeah. And and that is exactly why it oh. was so hard for me to leave because I was living their life. I was, I was, I was enjo enjoying the things that they like to do, enjoying, but it was, it wasn't really me enjoying it. I was getting enjoyment off of seeing them enjoy, you know, enjoy, it. enjoy the things mm -hmm. that they like to do. But it was, I wasn't happy because I wasn't thinking about myself mm -hmm. and what I like to do. <clears throat> yeah. And that's crazy. And that is why I'm so content with this relationship is because I can do what I like to do. Yeah. I know myself. I've taken the time to get to know myself. I hope you have as well. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I've taken the time to get to know myself. Um, but reflecting back then on, on what those issues were, I'm just like, wow, maybe, yeah, that's, that's exactly where I went wrong at. Mm -hmm. And so many people today in the in the dating world are feeling the same exact way but can't explain it. So I hope that kind of gives you um, some explanation of as to why you, if you're finding it so hard to leave this relationship or, or why you feel like you have to stay in a relationship because you're comfortable. Um, it's it's not it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Definitely figure out what you like to do. Find yourself. Find yourself yes. and and build yourself up to the best version of yourself. And then uh, and then when you do that, you will allow other people to come in. You know, people will find you. Yes. That person will find you some way, somehow. Yes. It'll it'll just happen. It'll just happen. And I think with it's just, yeah, whatever with God, God will bring that person to your life. God brings you person. And if you experience those bad things, or whether it's good things, those, because God has given that to you. God 100%. has making you experience that. Mm -hmm. um, literally, it's all about just doing the things that you love. We do, We talk about this, and we're like, okay, if we ever, one day, we, you know, just being in a relationship, we talk about having kids and all that stuff. I want him, to, like, he loves doing music, he loves you know going out doing his thing with music i want him to enjoy that you know if whether if i have like hypothetically speaking if we were to have kids 
I want him to enjoy him do the things that he loves, whether it's his hobby, the things that he likes to do. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And just be like, okay, just tell me a time that you want to do it, and we're good. I want you to explore, you know, not explore, but like, I want you to do what you love to do, and that's who you are. Yeah, same for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Whether it's me getting my hair done, me, <laughs> me taking a bath, me, you know, going mm -hmm. shopping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love doing things with each other. Sometimes when she goes to the store, I'm just like, you, you can just go. I know you like me for me to go to the store with you, but it's just like, just go. <laughs> Cause I just want to stay at home and play video yeah. games. So I'll, I'll, I'll just stay home and I'll just play video games and she'll be out doing her thing. And mm -hmm. that's what we enjoy doing. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, let us know if you want us to do more of these type of videos. We just got real, real with you guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, this is unfiltered. I mean, I'm not really going to edit this video. I'm not going to edit this video. It is what it is. Whatever you get from this video, it's it is what, what it get. is. Yeah. Um, unedited. So um, if you guys want to see more content like this, if you guys want to talk about more topics like this from our perspective, um, two individuals, we're two people mm -hmm. who come together almost two years ago, we're in a relationship now, who've been through the single life and the dating life and the craziness and much more. Um, let us know if you just want to hear what or, we have to say or yeah. our thoughts about these yeah. certain topics. Yeah, yeah. Or you, if you guys have other, <clears throat> excuse me, if you guys have other thoughts too. Topics, yeah. If you guys have other topics, you know, comment it. Comment some things that you guys would like us to talk about. It could be, literally be anything. Yeah, talk about or what your, what also your experience with your single life or in a relationship life. We want to know about you too. Yeah. So. And, and, and next time you guys come to one of these talks, bring yourself some wine. Yeah. Have some wine with us. <laughs> Sit down and like, you know, ha you know, talk with us. Leave some comments. Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Peace. Peace.